Hello and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I am your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson you will be learning how to express your opinion. Well, we all have different opinions on different things. But how should we express our opinion? We must express our opinion in a very polite way, in polite language. And that's what you will be learning in today's video lesson. Let's get started. When you want to express your opinion, you can start with expressions like, in my opinion. You must not say according to me or according to my opinion. According to me is always used when somebody else is expressing and you are talking about somebody else's opinion. You can say according to him, according to her, according to them, but never say according to me. You must always say in my opinion. You can start your opinion with the expression in my opinion. Or you can say as far as I am concerned. What is the meaning of as far as I am concerned? It means if you ask me, this is what I think. Okay. And the third expression, if you ask me for my opinion, I would say that. If you ask me for my opinion, I would say that. So if you really care to know my opinion, this is what I say. And the next one, in a simple way, you can say, I think, I think this is right or I think this is not right. You can also say, I believe, I believe, I believe that this is right. I believe that this is correct. So you can use different ways of expressing your opinion. Another way you can, you, uh, you can express your opinion is, it is considered that. It is considered that means, it is generally believed by people that something is right. And the next, in my view, in my point of view, from my point of view. So these are some of the ways in which you express your opinion. Now when somebody gives an opinion, we need to uh, respond to the opinion. But you can also use some more expressions like, I'm of the strong opinion that. So when you're expressing an opinion in a very strong way, you can say, I'm of the strong opinion that. Then you can say, well, to my mind, it seems. These are more interesting ways of expressing your opinion. Well, to my mind, it seems. So this is how I think. And you can also say, the way I see it is that. And you can say, the point is. The point is. So these are some of the ways in which you express your opinion. But you also have to respond to an opinion. If somebody else gives you an opinion on something, you respond to it. So how do you accept? How do you accept an opinion? Or how do you agree with an opinion? Or how do you disagree? So this is the next part. You learn some expressions as to how you respond to an opinion by others. The first thing is, yes, of course. When somebody says something, you say, yes, of course. And you can also say, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Or you can say, yes, I agree. I agree to what you say. Then you can say, that's a good point. When somebody is making a very nice point, you say, that's a good point. Or you can say, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. That means it's absolutely correct. And then you can say, I'm with you. I'm with you on this means I support what you say. I agree with what you say. And you can say, that's fair enough. What is the meaning of that's fair enough? It means what you say is justified. What you say is quite right. And of course, if you don't agree with somebody's opinion, you can say, I don't agree with you on that. I don't agree with you on that. Or you can say, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. What is the meaning of I beg to differ? That means my opinion is different from yours. Or you can say, that's not entirely true. That's not entirely true. That means what you say is not entirely true. So this is, these are some ways of expressing that you don't agree. And then you can also say, no way. When you don't agree at all, you can say, no way. Or you can say, that's not always true. That's not always true. Sometimes there are opinions which are very strong and you want to differ with it. You want to say that you don't agree with it. You can say, 
That's not always the case. That's not always the thing. That's not always true. Or you can say not necessarily. Not necessarily. Or when you don't want to give an opinion, the best thing to say is, well, I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure about this. That's perhaps the safest way to give an opinion. I'm not sure about this. So did you understand? We express our opinion in different ways. And we also respond to an opinion in two ways, positively or negatively. Positively when you agree with the opinion and negatively when you don't agree with what someone is saying. For example, you can say, I think we must improve our communication skills. So this is an opinion, example of an opinion. Or you can say, I feel English is very important for career growth. I feel English is very important for everyone. Or you can say, I believe that every woman should support her family or every woman should work. I believe that every woman should work. Or you can say, in my opinion, this course is very useful or these video lessons are very useful. Or you can say, to my mind, this is the right thing to do. To my mind, this is the right thing to do. Or you can say, I don't think, I don't think we should buy a big car. So if somebody is asking you, shall we buy a big car? So you can give your opinion. I don't think we should buy a big car. So all these things are examples of how you can give your opinion. So what you can do is use these expressions to give an opinion. And when somebody gives an opinion, try to respond to the opinion in a very polite way. To say that you agree and to say that you disagree, you must use the right expression so that you are polite. Because English is a gentleman's language. When you communicate, you must not directly put across your opinion in a very, very impolite manner or in a rude manner or in a very direct manner. You must always try to put, your, put across your opinion or agree or disagree with an opinion in a very subtle way. What is subtle way? Not directly, but put it in a very in, in polite language. So I hope you understand all the expressions that you can use to express an opinion and I'm sure you will start using them right away. So do like, share and subscribe to our videos and we'll come back with more such interesting videos. Until then, goodbye.